When a hockey player accelerates on ice hockey skates or the tuck rocker, the player's body weight shifts forward to the front 70% of the blade, which is equal to the front three wheels of the chassis, placing him on the balls of his feet. The tuck rocker mirrors the percentage of chassis contacting the skating surface, as well as the ramp angle of the boot, allowing players to duplicate their skating stride regardless of whether they're on ice skates or the tuck rocker. When a hockey player skating on ice skates or the tuck rocker takes a full stride at top speed, he maximizes his skating stride by snapping his toe. This motion is often referred to as the snap extension, and it utilizes the player's calf muscle group. This motion is specific to ice hockey skates and the tuck rocker, and cannot be achieved by players using conventional inline skates. When a hockey player using ice skates or the tuck rocker makes a turn, Going in the forward direction, the player's body weight shifts backward to the back 70% of the skate blade, equal to the back three wheels of the rocker. The shorter your blade or chassis, the tighter you can turn. When he completes the turn, his body weight is catapulted forward to the balls of his feet, placing him on the front 70% of the chassis. The ability to shift his weight backward during the turn and the ability to catapult his weight forward during the crossover acceleration phase gives the player a 50% tighter turn and 20% quicker acceleration. When a hockey player using ice skates or the tuck rocker pivots forward or backward, the player's body weight centers itself on the center 40% of the skate blade for a split second while doing the pivot and then shifts back to the front 70% of the chassis, readying the player to accelerate out of the maneuver. When a player using ice skates or the tuck rocker stops, his body weight naturally centers itself onto the center 40% or the center two wheels of the chassis. As it slides to a stop, the player's body weight rocks forward onto the front 70% of the blade or chassis, positioning the player to accelerate immediately. The closest thing you get to skating, I find, um, and the way that they've got this rocker chassis set up, uh, it's not like the uh, traditional rollerblades where it's all, you feel like you had a short stride, you don't have as much control. With these, you can go on your heels, you, you know, you, you, when you want to pop on your toes, um, you know, even when you're uh, out in the street and you want to make turns, it, it feels so much more like a regular skate that uh, uh, when you pop back on the ice, the transitions really, you know, it's a breeze. No one has ever been able to duplicate the geometry of an ice skate blade or the biomechanics of a hockey player's skating stride until now. The Tuck Rocker not only offers performance at a higher level, but also allows ice hockey players to skate as a form of off-ice training without the fear of ruining their stride.